What is going on guys? My name is Martin and welcome back to Alan Wake. Um, we are going to be continuing off from where we left off. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could wait here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. I really appreciate how it has a little previously on last episode. I'm home. Back here, sweetie. And if you worst weather I've yep. ever seen. You I'll should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Hey, handsome. This is gonna be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're gonna need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. Um, as I was saying, um, if you're new around here, please consider hitting the like button and also clicking subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. And um from the last episode Coffee's on. Uh, there's a total of six episodes, and episode one was about an hour long. So if this continues to be an hour long, I would be splitting it up into two parts and then um, uploading each part oh, hey. separately. I just those cover mockups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry! Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Hi, okay. You okay? I'm sorry. I just, it just really spooked me. Don't worry, we'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just, especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. feel mr wake any nausea disorientation anything like that mr wake how are you feeling i'm okay my head's fine i had to lie about my headache and memory loss he'd send me to a hospital for tests i couldn't leave without alice mm, very well um i don't think you have a concussion but you've obviously been through quite a shock you should take it easy for a couple of days thanks well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. All right, I, I hope she's all right. I wonder how we would progress. Wonder, is there any? Come in, Mr. Wake. 
Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Oh, Have you started looking that. for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd locked me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. Mr. Wake, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for you to sign off. That's a pretty strong kick. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. So, is it like part psychological, part... You know, kidnapping? Of, or is everything just... Made up in his head. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothing. Marvelous, sir. I okay. just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about. Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! Take it easy. Nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. I have
had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. I agree with him. Barry, you found him. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking up the Mets. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at Everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy? And his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? I mean, I hope not. Why, that's hard to say with drinking? my character. No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do you and everything's just... understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket Wait to the here. funny farm. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet oh, a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife. They're not going to believe call. me. Can we talk about this later? I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? If you try to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Yeah, doing this on purpose. Cause why not? I'm scared myself. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. I feel like something's gonna happen to Barry. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Something is probably gonna happen to Barry. Do I still have my gun? Doesn't seem like it. But I. Uh, I'll wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Walk through the door now. He says he's like my friend, but I feel like he's just saying that because. I'm a good writer, or Alan's a good writer. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Oh, my gun is back. Great, something is going to happen. Do 
There has to be some way to improve this guy's stamina. This is definitely not suspicious at all. on that page I found came true it knew so dark it'll come back for me you must the lights in the office I have the key okay Rusty hang on I'll be right back whatever did this couldn't be far Rusty had found a page from the manuscript it would help me understand what had happened Maybe I should spend some time reading the manuscripts. But I don't always have all of them. Is this another manuscript? It is. I don't like this. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Oh. Rusty! Rusty! Darkness. I just need to untake my senses. Well, there goes Rusty. Rusty is gone. Something had torn a mammoth sized hole in the wall. Don't feed the animals. Did he get turned? Who purchased a park? License, obey! The park ranger's instructions. Rusty, no! Never. Two bears and wolves never approach any other wolf closer than 25 yards. It is against the law to remove any natural from the park grounds. I'm out of ammo, what am I supposed to do? This includes even you may find along the river or even simple berries. Sir. Oh, ammo is here, I'm assuming.
right? Not sketchy at all. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. So he sees something as well. So it's not just Alan that's crazy. Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Great. This is great. Oh, great. Wow. You know, it's kind of funny that, you know, bullets work against supernatural beings. Because, you know, that's totally normal. And although I may be bad at, you know, dodging things, at least I'm not bad at killing these things. Unless they eventually add, like, some new mechanic that makes them a lot harder to kill. I don't like the... I don't like this. Now it's, like, acting like that. Um. Oh, right. That's not on me. Oh, gosh. Nope. Out of ammo already? to be some ammo somewhere I'm getting like pretty lucky with these I really don't know how I'm doing oh spoke too soon yep spoke too soon I guess I shouldn't be fighting these guys yeah, let's just run. Hey man, back out please. Okay, so run. Turn around, catch my breath. Alright. Rinse and repeat. That's all I need to do. Hey man, could you not go so fast? Nice, that was pretty clutch.
Alright, give me ammo and batteries. Lit, lit. I would appreciate it if there was more ammo. Good thing I saw this from a distance. Because realistically, I don't think I would have, you know, explored too much because I'm not... Oh great, bear alert. Yeah, I don't think I'll be exploring too much because... This game is scary, and I don't do scary games usually. Um. Oh great! Oh great! Tell me, there's like an ammo cache box somewhere. Ow! No, you don't like the light. Gonna stay here until that thing comes. Come on, hurry it up. Whoa, that is dangerous. Great, what is happening now? I wonder, are the kidnapping, the kidnapping me is real, because you know, uh, his wife is missing, but maybe these supernatural things are fake. Oh, he seems familiar with them too. Flashlights, kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. All right, some random stranger. 